I thought it was gonna be some OPMC from the beginning. So guys, today's manhwa is Ember Knight, written and drawn by Huan Ding. It's about two twin brothers called Nagyun and Najin. Najin gets killed, so in order to find out who killed him and get revenge on them, Nagyun pretends to be weak. No, sorry. Nagyun pretends to be his twin brother, Najin, the one that died. This proves to be difficult since Nagyun is extremely weak, untalented, and lacks many traits to be a knight like his brother was, but he was having success by putting on a facade of looking strong using his brother's past accomplishments and demeanor to fool everyone. But it proves to get harder since his brother was very talented, strong, and overpowered in some ways. Anyway, the prose, a very interesting twist. When I read the title on the first chapter, I thought it was going to be some OP MC from the beginning, but I was wrong. The MC Nagin is extremely weak and he solves his issues by being smart and calculating his every move, which I admire, while using other knives to his advantage. And I thought it was just going to be a generic man about the MC being really OP. I was wrong as I got further into it. Uh, pacing. Pacing's pretty good, and I'm drawn to all the mystery surrounding why his twin brother was killed and their past, which is slowly getting revealed while we move through the story. Cons, side characters have their own motives and goals, as well as their personal background the manga tells us about, and I like that since it explains why some side characters behave in some ways, but some of the side characters' stories feel drawn out at times, leaving me annoyed because I'm mainly reading to enjoy the MC's story and growth and the mystery surrounding the death of their brother and how Nagin's gonna get revenge. So if the side character isn't related to the MC, MC in some way. It sort of feels like I wasted thread going through some of the chat. But anyway, I give this 9.5 out of 10. Leave in the comments what you think about this one. Peace.